we're back here at our 1952 Tudor house where the renovation is well underway. Last time you saw us working on cutting the brick out of the back wall for this double door. The double door is now set and trimmed on the exterior. We had told you that uh, the drywall finisher was going to be moving through and doing his work with the uh, taping. That has been completed. Primers on the walls and ceiling and we have hardwoods going in today. The floor has been patched in the broken areas. There was a lot that was demoed out. We found broken subflooring that had to go back and pull that up, patch it back in. And our new six-sided finished white oak is tying in with the old white oak in the house. The floor finishers are gonna come through and sand over the whole thing after the cabinets are set and stain and blend the color through the whole house. We're here in one of the bedrooms and our cabinet package has arrived and the cabinets are uh, waiting in here in a little bit of a safe temporary storage until the floor's in so we can go ahead and set them in the kitchen. We uh, are putting in uh, the Renaissance line from Choice Cabinetry. It's a brand that we now deal. They have nine different cabinet lines and we're putting the Renaissance in here which has this uh, kind of distressed um, French country appeal to it. And it's a great cabinet. The box construction is all veneered plywood with solid wood frames and drawer fronts. We have dovetail construction on the drawers and they come standard with soft close drawer glides. It's a great cabinet. We're going to hopefully be doing a lot more of these in the future. We're back here in our open concept kitchen and we're going to go over the uh, wood that was chosen to go in here. Uh, we had switched from a distressed um, hand scraped wide plank that was going to run this direction through the kitchen to match into the existing floor. We made that call when we took the wall out and decided that we wanted it to truly look like one continuous room from end to end. This is a solid three quarter inch, two and a quarter white oak, and it's finished on all the sides. This is a select or better. It's a, the most clean and clear piece that we could get. It's going to look just like the rest of the house. The finish on it allows for those common kitchen spills, a glass of water or a glass of wine or a bowl of soup when it hits the floor and sinks in between the edges on your flooring, being that this is sealed all the way around, the wood will not absorb it. It's great for a kitchen. You could even use it in a bathroom. This is the area where the existing wall was that we took out. And you can see we have already blended the new floor into the old. There's a color difference here, but once the finisher comes through and sands this all the way across and applies a stain, it's going to look one color all the way through. It's going to give us that nice, clean, one-room look where there was two. In our installation, we have a couple options. We're uh, trying to keep in uh, mind here when we do this. We're going to have cabinets on both walls. So to have a nice, clean look in the middle, we're putting short pieces as our starters and finishers because we're going to have a two-foot cabinet sitting here, and that's going to cover these short pieces. In the field, we're trying to get longer pieces. Gives you a nice consistent walkway. So we run these out, <clears throat> come along and get our cleats put in every six inches or so. Gives us a nice tight clean finish. And the idea here is to uh, take a head, get a couple pieces set up for cuts, keep the process going. installing the hardwood floor tonight and tomorrow morning we're going to start fresh with putting the cabinets in. By the end of the weekend, floor and cabinets will be in, finishers will be moving in, and we'll be closing this thing up soon. We're back here at our 1952 Tudor kitchen remodel and we are currently in the process of hanging our upper cabinets. This is our hot wall. The range is going to go here. Uh, these are the Choice Renaissance. We have uppers going in already. We're going to have uh, a wall bridge with a microwave. We just put in a panel for our refrigerator unit. We're going to set this large wall bridge 
over top of the refrigerator unit and then we'll have a pantry unit going in next to it. 12. From the outs. going to be from the outside. Clamps, they pull our face frames tight and flush across this joint. Ben has pre-drilled with the small bit through there. Now we'll drill the depth to countersink our screws. Once those screws go in, it pulls this nice and tight and flush. We can take the clamps off and move on. our hot wall of cabinetry we're going to be moving on to the wet wall the next time you see us we're going to be putting countertops in we're doing a wilson art solid surface in here also join us then